Command Post Exercise 2022 simulated a typical episode in African peace support missions conducted at mission headquarters as a multi-dimensional exercise in planning, preparation, and the execution of a peacekeeping mission. The planning and preparation phases went on well from early 2021, uh, February 2022, up to then, and included initial planning conferences and meetings, the main planning conference, and the final planning conference, among others. In the last days, the exercise began by induction, training of the various participants here present, later defining roles and tasks, and formulating the mission implementation plan. In our journey through the exercise, we have learned from one another to work together in a multi-dimensional and a multinational setting for the achievement of the common goal. We have been able to test and confirm the capability among our forces from the member states. Our forces are now ready for future peace support missions. The ESF exercise, Mashariki Salam 3, which was a command post exercise, focused on ESF's full operational capability in dealing with common security challenges and also in optimizing opportunities to secure peace and security for rapid, resilient, and sustainable social and economic development within the region. The main exercise objective was to practice ESF structures and operational capability in integrated mission planning, command and control, and execution of complex multidimensional PSO in line with AU doctrine and procedures. Beyond this objective, sir, was the opportunity to, for the exercise participants not only to strengthen existing relationships, but to establish new relationships and networks. Kindly allow me to proudly and without doubt report that the ESF exercise Mashariki Salam 3 successfully met its objective. Denmark and the friends of EASF always find great pleasure in contributing to the development of EASF to the benefit of all member states in, uh, and the region as a whole. Apart from the positive outcomes of Mashariki, Mashariki Salam, we also look forward to seeing the results of the ongoing revision of the organizational structure of EASF. A lot of effort has been put into this task over the last four years, and it will be good to see it completed. Exercise Mashariki Salam marks the first of four milestones for the year of 2022 for EASF. The second milestone is a new organization, as just mentioned. And after that, we have the gathering of friends of EASF at the ambassadorial level, and subsequent the assembly of heads of states. This is a year with a great opportunity to taking substantial steps forward. I am convinced that 2022 will be a fruitful year for the EASF, and I look forward to join you on the onward journey toward peace and stability in the region. The myriad of challenges and conflicts on the African continent continues to encounter, to count in terms of peace and security are detrimental to its development. Peace and security have been identified as the key goals in Agenda 2063 if we are to achieve the Africa that we all want. As the Chief of Staff, African Standby Force, I am delighted by the strides that the East Africa, Eastern African Standby Force is making in harmonizing training and cooperation on its pledged capabilities. Exercise Mashariki Salam 3 is one such exercise 
where the full operational capability of the ESF is being put to the test. The successful conduct of this CPX is testimony to the efforts being made by the ESF standby force to plan, prepare and execute multi-dimensional peace support operations. The African Union applauds the meaningful achievements and contributions by the East African region in the maintenance of peace and security on the continent. These efforts attest to the unending desire by ESF member states to achieve the goal of silencing the guns and constitute a major milestone in attaining the objectives of Agenda 2063. It is my hope that other regions which constitute the African Standby Force emulate the efforts being done by the ESF in contributing towards peace and security in Africa through the conduct of exercises such as this one. The operationalization of the ESF and consequently of the African Standby Force is a step in the right direction towards achieving a force that is ready to deal with peace and security on the continent. The nature of the contemporary peace and security threats that the continent faces include violent extremism, terrorism, piracy, human and drug trafficking, and of late global warming and climate change have seen communities being ravaged by droughts, decimation of crops and animals, leading to conflicts over scarcity of water and other resources. The regional mechanism, such as the ESF, who assist the ASF in dealing with some of these conflicts and threats before they escalate into hostilities. This is a true expression of your great commitment to keep our valuable mechanism going. Allow me also to appreciate the people and the government of the Republic of Kenya for hosting this great event the effort put in preparation and for warm welcome and the hospitality accorded to all of our distinguished visitors and the exercise player for the durations of their entire stay here in Nairobi. The host nation support to this activity was quite overwhelming. Thank you for this. Guest of honor, sir, my deepest gratitude goes to our policy organ the Council of Ministers, the Committee of Eastern African Chief of Defense Staff for the invaluable advice and the guidance that they have given to the ESF leadership during the planning, preparation, and the conduct of this exercise. Let me also thank all the member states for their commitments and holistic support they give to enable ESF capacity developing effort successful implement it is planned activity. I offer my congratulations for the skill and the professionalism you have displayed during this exercise, which is high standard, and we know the last two weeks have not been easy. However, I want to thank you for your patience, resilience, and for the effort that you have put through the duration. Since the establishment of ESF, we have been able to develop substantial capacity which would enable ESF to respond timely, effectively in peace support operation. Without any doubt, in this command post exercise, Mashariq Islam 3, we have added value to our previous capacity. This lesson learned will go a long way in enhancing our capacity regarding peace support operation and the capacity development. And as a secretariat, we will always endeavor to steer the organization to success under our leadership, leadership guidance. Over the past decades, Africa has suffered countless adverse consequences of armed conflict. It is indeed quite unfortunate to that conflict is inherent 
in human people and the, our people have to suffer the most severe impacts including the losses of many lives. It is time now to direct all of our efforts toward this pre preventive of any triggers of conflict in our society and at the same time to work on the management of conflict. Conflict can be prevented and managed and hence sustainable peace is achievable. This is the reason why we are all here today. The importance of the ISAF member states coming together to collectively seek solution for security and stability in our region should not be underemphasized. Command post, post exercise 2022 sought to train our forces, alter their <coughs> mindset and mold them to be able to effectively respond to peace and security challenges not only in our region but in Africa as whole as a whole. It is also aimed at the testing the readiness of the pledge capabilities from our member state and their ability to work together in complex multidimensional peace support operation despite coming from diverse cult diverse cultural environments within the region. It is my sincere hope and belief that this objective has all been achieved. I want to stress that ISAF Secretariat to focus its energy towards bridging the identified gaps and consolidating the experience gained in order to be able to de deploy effective peace support mission when mandated. Conducting such an exercise, as I had mentioned to the force commander, it's not easy, but it ensures that us as a region are prepared and we are heading towards the realization of our vision of self-sustainment in safeguarding peace, security and stability in our region. Ladies and gentlemen, I am aware that the aim of this CPX was to exercise ease of structures and the multinational, multidimensional, and multidisciplinary mission headquarters and force headquarters staff in planning and execution of a complex peace support operation. This is a great achievement for ISAF as it endeavors to maintain a multidimensional and full operational capability in response to crisis. The theme of the CPX, promoting peace, security and cohesion in the region through building the capacity of ISAF multidimensional force to mitigate any emerging crisis has been demonstrated through constructive contribution by each of the exercise participants. You have validated the CPX theme and I would urge you all to use the opportunity provided promote that which brings us together all the time. I also believe that the stipulated exercise objectives has been achieved as we were briefed by the exercise director. I am cognizant that the African Union through African Peace and Security Architecture and the international partners have been crucial in efforts to ensure that ESAF continues to achieve the regional and continental milestones in the arena of peace and security. I wish to acknowledge 
their support and engagement and appreciate their role in mobilizing resources in support of our region's aspirations. In addition, I would like to appreciate the effort and commitment made by member states for supporting all the ESAF activities. I equally wish to remind member states to ensure that the pledged forces are constantly exercised and are in a state of operational readiness in the likelihood of being called upon at any one time. I want to thank the director. This has been an enormous task in times of restrictions of, due to COVID and resource constraints. And you pulled it through with so many member states and participants involved. Well done and thank you, Director. Finally, it is now my pleasant duty to declare ISAF Command Post Exercise Mashariki Salam 3 2022 officially closed. And I want to wish all of you safe travels to your various destinations. For tomorrow, sorry. We ask uh, Djibouti to kindly join us in front. Um, uh, Chairperson of the Chief of Defense, who will give it back to the representative. Kenya, ready? Next in line. Uganda. Somalia, can you join us